we want to determine if the infinite series converge absolutely, converge conditionally, or diverge. To review, a series, the summation of a sub n, is absolutely convergent if the summation of the absolute value of a sub n also converges. A series, the summation of a sub n, is conditionally convergent if it is convergent, but the summation of the absolute value of a sub n diverges. So going back to our example, looking at the first series, notice how we have the summation of one divided by n, or one divided by n to the first. So if we apply the p-series test, given here, notice if p is greater than one, the series converges. If p is less than or equal to one, the series diverges. So here we have p equals one, and therefore our series diverges. But let's go ahead and generate a few of the terms in the series. Notice when n is one, we'd have one plus. When n is two, we have one half plus. When n is three, we have one third plus. When n is four, we have one fourth and so on. You may recognize this as a harmonic series, which even though the terms are decreasing, this is a divergent series. So we'll say by the p-series test, with p equals one, which is less than or equal to one, the series diverges. Now take a look at the second infinite series, which is an alternating series. Notice how for this series, when n equals one, we would have negative one to the second divided by one, which is one. Then for the second term, we'd have plus, when n is two, we have negative one divided by two, or negative one half, so we could write minus one half. And then when n is three, we have negative one to the fourth divided by three, positive one third. And then when n is four, we have negative one to the fifth divided by four, or minus one fourth, and so on. Notice here we have the alternating harmonic series. So because we have an alternating series, we'll apply the alternating series test. But one thing to notice here is if we took the absolute value of this series, we'd have the harmonic series given here, which we know diverges. Which means if this does converge by the alternating series test, it would only be conditionally convergent because the absolute value of this series diverges, which again we see here for the basic harmonic series. So notice for the alternating series, the non-alternating part, a sub n, would be equal to just one divided by n. And now to review the alternating series test, if we have a series in this form here, where a sub n is greater than zero, if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n equals zero, and a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n, meaning the terms are non-increasing, then the alternating series converges. And again, to check for a conditional or absolute convergence, we'll determine if the summation of the absolute value of a sub n converges or diverges, which we already know diverges. So to apply the alternating series test, again, notice how a sub n is greater than zero. And now we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which is one divided by n, Notice how this limit does equal zero. And now we'll check to make sure that a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n. Well, here are the terms for a sub n equals one over n. And notice how the terms are decreasing. And therefore, a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n. And therefore, the series converges by the alternating series test. But again, because the absolute value of our series diverges, which we showed above, the alternating series is conditionally convergent. So let's go ahead and summarize this. We'll say by the alternating series test, the series converges, but since the summation of the absolute value of a sub n, which equals the summation of a divided by n, diverges, which we know by the p-series test, the alternating series is conditionally convergent. If this series here had been convergent, then we could say the alternating series would be absolutely convergent. But in this case, because 
the summation of the absolute value of a sub n is divergent, we have a conditionally convergent alternating series. I hope you found this helpful.